So I'm going to be removing the cylinder head. Uh, the sequence for the cylinder studs, the studs are a T55 Torx head. The sequence is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, there are actually, uh, it's a different sequence for doing the head back up. Doing it up, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Okay, I went slightly longer breaker bar to see if I can aid the process. I've got two bolts undone. One, two, three. Four. That's three. Come on. Okay. Try the other side so we can get a better purchase on it. Now I'm going to lay these out so they uh, go back in the same holes. I'm just going to get a piece of card to put them in. Okay, I'm pulling out each of these guys. Come on, there we go. And drying them off because there's a bit of oil on them. And then I'm putting in a piece of cardboard that I made. Intakes, exhaust, and just cam. I should be able to figure that out, but that makes life easy when we come to reinstall that's assuming that this engine gets put back together depending on what I find under here but anyhow there's my uh, there's my cylinder head bolts now you can see uh, the buckets and the shims are all going to probably fall off all of these valves. I'm actually, I've, I've just sharpened, okay, the valves. I'm going to use this videotape and uh, I'm going to put each one of these along with their corresponding shims in a separate Ziploc bag so uh, I know where, how where to put them back on uh, to give me a guide before resetting the valves when I finish uh, reassembling. Use the magnet, pick them up. Okay, the actual shim has been held by the magnet, so put that in the bag. 
Put that on one side. Shims in the back. There are uh, two more bolts that need to come off before the cylinder head can actually uh, slide off. It's pretty loose right now, but uh, I shall, I've just got to undo these two first. Undo these two bolts here. Okay, I'll just loosen them off. This was the bolt here that has to be removed to allow the cam chain to go in. Okay, don't need to worry about that right now, it can stay there in place. Two, both bolts to the same length. Okay. Hopefully now the head, some of the head will just lift off nice and easily. There she goes. And I'm going to turn that upside down. Wow. Well, considering I had a rod fail, this is the cylinder head. Um, there appears to be absolutely hardly any damage. It doesn't even look like the intake, any of the valves actually made contact with the piston, which is pretty amazing. So I think we may have got off lightly on that one. Looking at the cylinder here, um, well this piston's dropped because uh, it's not connected to anything right now, there's no rod underneath. Uh, you can see just where it looks like the uh, piston probably did make contact. You can see the outlines of the valves uh, on the cylinders, but uh, uh, it looks like the, the rod may have given itself up. Uh, and save the valves, but I shall definitely take the valves out of the center cylinder to check them out.